Hey, retired granny here. And it's my day off. I'm gonna squeeze as much into this day as I can possibly squeeze into it. First, I'm gonna start off with this monstrosity of a cupcake. <laughs> Jabba gave me when we were leaving work the other night. It looked so good. It had my mouth watering. I'm like, oh, chocolate lover's delight, right? So she's looking for something to put it in. She was going to put it in a small lunch baggie. She says, oh, wait, let me put it in a big one. So she goes and goes and gets a big bag, and I'm like cringing. I already know what's going to happen with this cupcake. Oh. She says, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I get it all the way home, and it still looks halfway decent. I go to reach for all the stuff that I'm having to bring into the house with me, and a cupcake falls out of my hands. And this is what happens. <laughs> That did not just happen. So I come home and I put it in the refrigerator and that's where it's been for two nights. I'm gonna unwrap it and I'm gonna enjoy a piece of it with my second cup of coffee um, before I do anything else. I've already taken Lucy for a walk. She's out in the yard and uh, I've already done all of my social media, changed my profile picture on Facebook, and actually I didn't change the picture, I just added some leaves. And, um, and uh, yeah, so now I'm going to unwrap this cupcake and have a piece of it, and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting closer. Ta-da! <laughs> Patience is virtue. As much as I was drooling over this cupcake, I knew that I could not eat it in the in its original form. I just couldn't. And waste and take the chance of losing all of that deliciousness. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. You hear me swallowing over here. All right, so I'm going to cut it and I'm gonna eat half now. I had a request for some t-shirts for a woman and her niece who share the same birthday. <laughs> She's going to be 60, I think is what she said, and her niece is going to be five. Here I did the October girl and my fancy little um, swirl didn't come out so fancy today. I think my bleach kind of ran a little bit too much, but it looks nice. I think she'll be happy with it. I was uh, able to get a hold of some uh, orange t-shirt right now. It is a hot, hot commodity because of Halloween and stuff. So I had to find one and um, 
purchased one myself from some other woman that had some extra orange ones. So I was glad I was able to do that for her. Doing a little bit of bleaching today. And uh, now we're gonna clear off this duck. I need to get rid of all of these um, flowers that are in these pots. It's time to pull everything. They were really nice all summer long. And look at, actually, some of them are still beautiful. I'm gonna leave some of them go. I'm not pulling anything if it's not dead. So your dad and I have quite a job to clear this tent today. Oh, it's all right though. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, perfect for what we have to do. And that is, um, you know, to clear this deck up, get it ready for winter, put all the cushions away, clean all the cushions. Since I've worked um, at Costco for the last probably about six weeks now, I've had no time to come out here and enjoy my deck. So it's just, you know, it is what it is. One last one for the day. Then I got to move on to other things. So this is something different I'm doing today. That's a sublimation and then using the uh, SEI paint spray which can be very messy. But I like the technique. I like the way it looks. I was going to add some uh, red to it, but I'm not sure that I will. Maybe after that one dries, I might add some of that. Um, what color do I have down here? I have this uh, orchid. I might add the orchid to it because I think that's the color that's actually in that, which is orchid. So I think I'll add a little bit after that paint dries. I don't want to touch it right now because it's just too messy. I don't want to smear that black all up. Washed my hands of the black. I'm going to do this pink in the same way. So all I've done here is just this crunching technique and you just got to take your time and start at one end because this is a large um, crew sweatshirt so there's a lot of material here I have folded in the design in the center so that the design doesn't get messed up and all I'm going to do now is just do one side at a time or remembering to um, shake your paint really good before you use it each time because these have just kind of been sitting around I haven't done any of this painting in months so these have been sitting around for a good while and then uh, you want to spray a little bit of it to see to get it primed to see how this is how you want it to come out so that it kind of, uh, it's a nice, nice coverage. It's not all in one spot. Not dripping like some of them do. I get so mad at some of these paints because they drip really, really bad. Okay, so that's what we've done. This is the exact same thing that I did with that black one. So this is the technique. Let's open it up. So this is what it looks like when it's opened up. I will go back and uh, I will scrunch it in different areas to add a little bit more color like in here. But um, the thing is, is that you don't want to handle this, uh, this fabric while the paint is still wet because it smears really easy and you'll have your fingerprints all over it. So if you can, wait for it to dry a little bit and then go back and um, touch it up and see how the design 
is still intact. The design didn't get messed up. That's because we folded the fabric in to the design to protect it from the paint. Okay, so just gonna come back in a little while and touch it up a little bit. All right, so we got all of the furniture put away and covered up. Shirts are still hanging, drying. They should be dry today. There's a real nice breeze out here. There's that shirt, came out pretty cool. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'm trying to find my family and friends where they're at with these shirts. Hey, Gucci! Hey, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci! Oh, I started pulling these weeds down here. And uh, I got into some itch weed or something. Got out of my hands, my arms, my legs. All that weed needs to be pulled. And the butterfly bush needs to be trimmed down. I'm going to come out here and do this once. One last time. Pull these weeds back. Oh, what a job this is. I'm going to do some of it today and the rest of it on Thursday, my day off. And then I shouldn't have to do it again. Next year, I'm going to have to come out here with a um, weed killer. I hate to. I hate to do it, but this is a lot of work. And um, this is a lot of money going right down the drain because of all these weeds taking over. I trimmed back the majority of those um, weeds that were taken over. Yeah, they're all out here. Trimmed back that butterfly bush, took it down to practically nothing. Now, on my next day off, which isn't until Thursday, I gotta come out here and finish um, pulling as many of those weeds as I can and then raking this mess up and calling it finished. We got a lot done out here. Actually, we got all the lawn um, stuff put away that needed to go into the shed. And your dad just has to take down them sails now. They're up on top. Put them away. Um, for too long, I'll be having to pull all that marigold out as it starts to die off. And um, yeah, you know, before you know it, it'll be cold and wet and snowing, but we don't want to talk about that. Lint rolling is very important with these um, sweatshirts. You can actually see the lint on them. And if you look, your center line is already there. But, but if you press it, like they tell you to do to get out any moisture, your line goes away. <laughs> so it's, um, you know, it's a choice you have to make. If you don't think you're getting any lint off of there, just feel your roller when you're all done. And then you'll be able to know that you are. So I like that Mexican mini so much, I decided to make a sweatshirt using the design. And I wanted to um, spray paint black and red, but I only had neon red. And I wasn't sure how that would go with the red that's on here. So I'm not going to use red at all. I'm just going to use the black. And it's really important on a shirt like this to make sure that you tuck in the complete design because part of Mickey or Minnie's dress is white. So we don't want to get the black on it and we can get to scrunching the rest of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or when working with this um, SEI paint, you gotta shake it up really good. So you want to spray it, and then when after you spray it, gently flip it over. This spray is coming out really nice. doing the other side now. The wind is taking a lot of it away, so I'm spraying close for that reason. 
This stuff is expensive, so you don't want to lose it if you can help it. All right, so there you have it. I'm okay with it. It's, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I don't want to handle it too much, so um, there's some spots that didn't get um, dyed. See, look at, look at the black. And that black transfers to your, look at, it transfers to your garments. So you do not want to handle it any more than you have to. So I went in and filled it in a little bit more, <coughs> both in the front and in the back. And I'm okay with it now. Uh, some of that uh, black will come out in the wash and it'll be more of a uniform look as far as the gray color goes. Just make sure that when you go in and have to touch up areas that you protect the image. Like using this, I just put this cardboard over the image where I'm spraying because that overspray goes everywhere. This one was kind of delicate because of all the white. I didn't want to mess the white up, but as you can see, there are some little spots where the white is. When you're working with um, white fabric and black spray paint, I think um, that's gonna be just what happens. So just handling it as less as you can, I think will um, help overall.